Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Mark Four Modder coming at you to do a little uh, Q and A. I had a question from a subscriber. Uh, Nate O was asking uh, in regards to the water trap set up on the air system and how where I have that placed, how it works, and what kind of maintenance is involved in keeping water out of the uh, out of the air system. So I figured I'd go over a little quick video of how that's set up and where I put mine and how everything works and how I regular do maintenance to keep water out of the system so let's go down into the trunk and we'll take a look at where I have my water trap and I'll show you kind of the maintenance I do to keep water out of the tank um, so basically here's my trunk setup uh, in the middle here you have the manifold you have the compressor that fills on one side of the tank and on the other side of the tank which would be my exit uh, so where all the air comes out of the tank and goes into the manifold into the rest of the system uh, right there on the end that little black tube looking thing is the water trap. Uh, this did come with the kit and uh, it's it's maintenance free and in line so as the air comes out of the tank it goes through the water trap the water traps any water that's in there and then the air exits the far left and goes down the line and into the manifold. Now on the very bottom of that water trap is a, another rubber line and a drain so the water trap itself is self draining um, you just want to take that line and run it somewhere out the car. Mine goes straight down uh, through into the spare well compart or spare tire compartment and through a grommet out through the bottom and just drains out the bottom of the car. And that's basically how the water trap setup works. It's it's fairly simple, fairly easy. Just put it right in line, and you're good to go. And it'll keep water from getting into the manifold. So we'll go ahead and zoom out here. Now as far as any other maintenance to keeping water out of the out of the system because um, no matter what water is going to build up in the tank it's just the nature of compressing air as the air goes from cold to hot it condenses and water forms so you can't really see it but behind the manifold on the bottom of the tank there is a fitting um, that is connected to an airline that runs out to a pre deep a safety valve and that kind of safety valve you'll find on all kinds of air systems, uh, whether it's an air compressor for your tools, um, you know, air brakes on a truck, they all have the same system. And it's basically a valve that when too much gets over pressure, uh, it go ahead and, and releases. Um, and that's kind of hard to see. It's kind of buried. I'd have to dig it out. But from that valve, I have, here, we'll see if we can, see if I can show you through back here. So here's that pressure release valve I was talking about, and you can pull on this, and it'll pull on that, and it'll let air out of the system. Um, so if you wanted to do like a complete drain and drain the tank, you go ahead and evacuate that, and that's going to let air out. So what happens is, is this line here is connected, this valve, and it basically elbows and runs down, and I have it running down underneath my seat <clears throat> and again sorry for the lighting but it's dark in the garage um, and I have that connected to this valve here down on the end which is basically is a Schrader valve like you'd find on a bike tire or any kind of tire um, and with a cap on it and what happens is the water is going to collect down in that line and every so often I'll just go down there and you take a tool and just push the valve in like you would to let the air out of a tire press that in and water is going to start spraying out that so any water that gets trapped in the tank in the bottom of the tank will run into that line and when I can drain the water out of the tank without having to depressurize completely so hopefully your kit comes with that and if not you can order them online they're really easy to, to get a hold of and you're just going to sit there and run that on the end of the line, put it in a place like I did. It's kind of inconspicuous off to the side there. And easy access to where you can drain the water out of the tank on a regular basis. Line to your manifold right out that, and then run the drain line. Like I said, what I did was just drill the hole straight through the uh, cover for the spare tire and just ran that line straight out through the bottom so all water that gets trapped in the trap ends up outside the vehicle. Um, so. Any further questions, you know, feel free to leave a comment. Uh, don't forget to click the subscribe button, and uh, we'll see you next time.